Hello, my name is Patches Carney, and this is Ascension Pres. Hello, my name is Patches Carney, and this is Practically Catholic, where I go over Peter Kreef's practical theology. I'm not a theology major. I just like learning, and every time I read this book, it freaking blows my mind, so I want to share it. So on the front cover of Practical Theology, it says 350 plus ways your mind can help you become a saint. And so I'm going to call those 350 ways chapters. And each chapter is about one page. So I'm going to read one page and then try to explain it under three minutes so we can keep these very short and to the point. Okay, so we're starting off with the innocence of the body. I struggle with sins of the flesh and I've always blamed my body. I've always blamed my human body for this problem and it's not even the body at all. It's still the will because the will has the power over the body. My body can only do what the will says to do. So basically, I've got it all wrong in that sense. It's a split will that is my problem because there's a reason that I watch porn, but if somebody asks me, do you like porn? I say, no, I hate porn. Oh no, that's gross. It's because I have this split will. I have this will that's striving for God that hates porn, but then I still have this will that is chained up, that still desires earthly things like porn. So basically we have a split will. One part is going striving for God and then the other part is still being held back and is still letting its passions and its emotions take over. So what we need to do is learn how to tame these motions and tame these passions. One thing that just blew my mind as I was reading this is how the saints don't hate emotions, they just ignore them. And I've been told that, oh, I should pay attention to my emotions, I should care for them, or it's okay to have emotions. And the saints just ignore them. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. So learn to tame and control your emotions and passions. And realize that it's not your body, but it is a split will that is leading you to sin. 